Hi, in a previous video we created this uh, hollowed out nose cone for a wind turbine uh, to sit on top of the hub using a paraboloid and uh, we made a paraboloid that was just slightly smaller, actually uh, one millimeter smaller, one half millimeter smaller, and then turned that into a hole to hollow this out. Now in this video we are going to uh, look at how to create this <coughs> um, architecture uh, inside to match the Kidwind hub that comes from Vernier. Vernier. So this is a um, what they call the nose dome that can be 3D printed from Thingiverse, but we um, were making our own uh, parabola, our own cone in Tinkercad because of the you know potentially better aerodynamics there. So I think I'm going to start by hiding <coughs> this piece of work and leaving my ruler in place, uh, I know I'm going to need a cylinder and a hole and a couple of uh, cross uh, rectangles cut out of this. So let's start by just dropping uh, the cylindrical hole and zeroing that. Okay, it looks like it's um, working with the end point. So let's change this to use midpoint and now zero again. Okay. and <clears throat> measure the hole at uh, 17 I'm afraid that might be a little tight 17 millimeters I'm gonna go 17 and a quarter of a millimeter um, with this design okay now we will um, just continue working we'll drop a solid in here um, if we want our wall thickness to be four millimeters let's add 8 to 17 and a quarter, which is um, <clears throat> 26 and a quarter. That doesn't seem right. So that's going to be 25 and a quarter. I can use my tab um, to move around here as well. 25. Okay, now I will zero out these distances from the center. <coughs> Things are centered up nicely. Let's check our heights. So find that box for the height. I see the height over here. Um, that's a height to a midpoint. So my height now is 20. <coughs> I think we will change this to 12 and for now we can leave the hole as is. Um, no, we'll go with 16. Now let's drop in a box or two. Um, so I think I want these rectangles. I measured that part of the Kidwind hub to be four millimeters and I'm going to um, size those exactly at four and I want the depth of this thing to be uh, 12 millimeters until 12 millimeters to this stop so this is we're gonna make it so this is 12 millimeters here and then we need to have uh, some kind of continuous stop up there so as far as the length goes um, here I think we can make this uh, we're actually going to make this over a hundred millimeters <clears throat> because I want this to extend out uh, beyond the parabola ultimately. Okay, I think I like my height of 12 and my width for sure. I might go ahead now and I think I can hold the Alt key and drag a copy. I could also Control C, Control V, but if I hold down Alt, I can drag that copy out. And I'm going to want to rotate this one of these copies 90 degrees. So I can just grab and start rotating. Should snap to 90, of course. If you hold shift, then I think you definitely will snap uh, to 90. We're going to zero these distances. Seem to have, I'm going to control Z. I seem to have zeroed the wrong thing there. So I want to zero here and 
Mm, zero here, I believe. Okay. Now, likewise uh, with this piece. Okay, so let's take a look at what we have. It looks like I might want to uh, select these two rectangles and click the D button for drop onto the work plane. Uh, just take a parallel projection of that side view and see what else is going on. It looks like I would like to drop this to the work plane as well. Uh, and now, with this being 16 millimeters tall and uh, my... Uh, bar being 12, that leaves 4 millimeters here. I think I like that quite a lot. I just need to make these two pieces. I'll hold the shift key to select them both. I need to make those holes. And now I think I'm ready to um, select everything. Control A and Control G, or this would be the group button. You see the shortcut is Control G. Okay, so we've got a good start. I'm going to, uh, because I don't necessarily want to build this all the way up to the nose cone, I suppose that's an option to think about. Um, I think I'm going to pause here and think about how I connect this to the parabola.